anyone seen Mark P around? I'm at Mark P's place, and I'm looking for that monkey's Blu-ray set that he's got. I want it so badly, but I haven't been able to find it yet. So while I'm here, let me just grab a chair here. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you about the days when I was a prize weasel. And for all those people who don't know what a prize weasel is, that's someone who calls a radio station repeatedly and keeps winning prizes. I used to be one of those back when I was in college and stuff. So don't tell anyone at CKLW that I was one of their prize weasels. And it was easy back then, you know, like even Fred Rutherford, I'm sure he'll back me up on this one. Back in the days when they used to have contests, they were always 20 minutes after the hour. It was like clockwork. You always knew. You just look at the clock and here it comes. And you knew what song was playing. You knew when the end of the song was playing. And you'd start dialing. Okay. Except back days, we had a rotary phone. Remember those? Some of you young kids may not remember that. But back in the days, you used to... So I would be watching the clock, the song would be on, here comes the end of the song, and I'd... And, oh, I'd get a busy signal. Try again. Ah, I've got it ringing. Okay, so I've got it ringing. The end of the song is playing, and they announce, Hey, I'll take the 13th caller to win blah, blah, blah. I've got the phone ringing. Cool, eh? So I got the phone going and they go into commercial and somebody would pick up. I'm sorry, you're the third caller. But back in those days, when you made a connection and you were still on the line, even though they hung up, you were still connected. So I could be the third caller, they would hang up, but I'd stay on the line. So I'd be sitting there, doo -doo -doo. oh, I'm sorry, you're the ninth caller. They'd hang up. I'd stay on the line. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the 13th caller. Well, how about that? Isn't that something? You just won, like, the album of your choice from a record store or a, a, a week supply of green beans, whatever. But I would be just getting these prizes like crazy. But the one thing is, they have rules, so that you can only win so much so often. So I let slip one day that, that I've been a previous winner, and oh no, you, you're not supposed to be doing this. You can only win once every 90 days or something like that. But we'll let you get away with it this time. Okay, I say. But then I'd go back to college and I'd start asking my college friends, can I get your name and address and all this kind of stuff so I can use it to, to be a prize weasel? And I'd have a stack of names and I'd go back to winning prizes and when they asked me my name, I was, you know, somebody from college and, and I'd have the prize sent to their place. And I kept this up pretty much through college until... I left college, and by the time I left college, music had changed, the formats had changed, the Big 8 CKLW was no longer a top 40 radio station, I think they became country for a while, or some something, and then I drifted off to FM and got into Led Zeppelin and stuff like that, the alternative rock that they were playing, so that was my, that was the end of my days as a prize weasel. But back then, I'd, I'd done pretty good. I, I, was, I was not bad. I didn't win anything huge, but eh, it, it was a fun hobby. But now that I'm in Mark P's house, dang, I've got to find that monkey's Blu-ray box set. I know he's got it hidden around here somewhere. You stay tuned. I'll go looking for it.